Hello, David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. You know, New York City has this kind of vibe about it, but you know, there's something very James Bond about New York City, and it's not so much about the live and die aspect or even the locations. It's this, it's this feeling you get, but for all of us James Bond lifestylers, it takes a different level. Now, let me point out some things very quickly. Watch check, watch check. Um, I'm wearing the Aquaterra Omega. The top that I'm wearing is an NPL cashmere top. I've got my Uniqlo pants on, kind of the, the puppy tooth ones. I've got my, can you see it? Can you see it? I've got my Sky Crockett and Jones, the ones from the girl with the dragon tattoo. I've got a Crockett and Jones belt to match. Hold on a second, we're not done. Check this out, folks. You haven't seen this very often. It ain't Bond, it ain't Bond, but I've got my Montclair jacket the correct one, screen accurate, from the girl with the dragon tattoo because it's cold out there. And I've got some NPL cashmere gloves. Why am I getting so fitted out in, in, this, in this wear that I'm wearing? <laughs> it's because I'm heading to New York City. Now, it, it would be one thing to head to New York City just for meetings. I do have some meetings there, but in and intertwined, I'm going to be having a Bond brand day. You've, you've encountered some of these on my channels before, but there's something very immersive about James Bond and the James Bond brands when you're in New York City. Now that would be enough for this video. Just, you know, look at David. He's, you know, going around neighborhood and neighborhood, visiting the Bond brands, seeing what's up and new with them in 2024. That might be enough. No, but sometimes, just sometimes you meet some nefarious characters in the world of James Bond, and I have a feeling we're gonna meet some today. Why don't you come along with me? We have a train to catch. Okay, so one hour train ride away, and I am here in New York City, right by Central Park. And let me tell you how this is going to roll down. So first of all, it's cold. You can see in the getup I just described below, a uh, bit sunny, so that's good. But this is not a typical Bond brand day that you've seen in some of my videos. No, we're gonna be going to some different places today. Some of my usual haunts, I'll introduce you to some friends along the way you never know the type of hitchhikers but we're really going to explore what's going on with these bond brands in 2024 and i i want to do it in such a way that we take the mystery out of it because a lot of you say oh my i wish i could go on one of david's bond brand days and tours there's no secret to this okay i don't have any magic key to get into these bond brands you can walk in just as easily as i can and i'm going to show you how I'm gonna tell you some of my favorite and top places, and then you, when you go to New York City, you can replicate it. You can tell we're on the mean streets, but you know something? I just got done with some business meetings. Now the bond part of the day starts, but I need some sustenance. I'm thinking brunch. Okay, so we had a, an amazing brunch, as only New York City can do. But now we've got to go to a place that you know very well. Gosh, you probably have known this brand since 2012. It's one of my favorites. The people there seem a little bit more like family than a company or a store. But we're going to go to the store on beautiful Madison Avenue. Why don't you come with us? So I'm going to be trying to capture everything in the mean streets, but listen, one of the things you've got to understand is New York is filled with various people. You never know who you're going to meet so and who you're going to street. greet. And today is about meeting and greeting people. What the heck? Ladies and gentlemen, as I live and breathe, Mark Waldridge from Views from Mark. 
Mark, what, what are you doing in New York? I, well, you know, I'm taking a few minutes out. I was on a mission, but I had a spare couple of hours, so I'm just having a little wander around. I can't wheeling. believe this. You know, here I thought I was going to be alone all day. I see that you've got your gimbal and camera. Do you, do you just want to come with me on this brand tour? Sure, why not? Sounds fun. Yeah, like he had nothing better to do. Let's go. First impression of the store, first time here on Madison Avenue, what do you think? Amazing, it's a lovely space. It's um, it's it's great because you, you have that same continuity in terms of palette, color choices that you get in all the stores. But no, it's a really welcoming environment and a great space, lovely lounge area and the collections. It's wonderful actually to see a slightly bigger store because obviously in Burlington Arcade it's narrower and here you can just see so much, take it all in take your time and browse. I mean, I've already seen some amazing pieces as you can probably imagine, but yeah, no, it's wonderful. So what I love about the End Peel store is it, it, it feels very familiar and it's done on purpose. Now, I've been coming here for many years, know the people that work here, but if you were to walk in for the first time, you would have this same feeling. It's got a wonderful lounge. It's very welcoming. It's wide, it's bright. The colors are everywhere, especially during this spring. But I've heard through the grapevine, you know how the grapevine is, that there are some things for me to try on that are a little new and a little special, and I just can't wait to dig into this. So here we go. Okay, I've got a few things to try on. There were a couple requested pieces, but there we've got the linen and just a few other pieces, right? Yeah, nothing big, but you've got this wonderfully spacious dressing room, and I can't wait to dig into it. All right, so I've got the first outfit on. Check it out. I mean, I'm getting a little bit of Roger Moore vibes, but I think it's a little bit more, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a sense of not just safari, but aquatic. I feel very good. The linen itself is so soft and not all linen is created equal. You know this. sometimes it could be a little hard, crunchy. This is like this wonderful combed linen, but look at the cut on this. There's actually little cinches inside to flatter any body type. But this is my favorite part, the pants themselves, which again, very soft, very breathable for all different seasons. They're not all big and flowy. I like them to have a nice taper and they thought about this ahead of time. It tapers out so it flatters even flamingo-like legs like mine. I've got a nice polo underneath, sizing-wise, okay? I'm a 41-42, 31-32 inch waist. I'm wearing a size medium linen pants. The top is a small, the polo is a medium. I probably could have gone down for a small, but we'll take a look at how the other ones look. I'm digging it. So I don't wanna play favorites because it's early in me trying these things on. But ladies and gentlemen, goat suede. And it would be enough to talk about the hand. This is a YouTube channel. You cannot feel how luxurious this feels, but it's a thinness to it to it, but there's a toughness to it as well. And that's the whole wonderful thing of goat suede itself. It has soft, but it, it's not also going to be precious. It's something you can wear. But I'll tell you where I love this, the fit. And again, you know my sizing now, this small fits perfectly. It's lined beautifully, very soft and sumptuous when you try it on, but I feel like it could still move with me. Although it's flattering to the body, I still feel like there's range of motion. I can go about my day or I can have an amazing evening. This is the type of thing that really trans transitions travel. I see myself traveling in this. In fact, I'm gonna travel back to the dressing room. Okay, I'm totally getting the man with the golden gun vibes here and why not? 
We're in the anniversary year of the man with the golden gun, but this takes it again to another luxurious level. First of all, you've got that unbelievable linen. You've got the breathability, but the fit on here. Now you can adjust this. Um, I don't know why you would want to. It is literally the perfect fit. Tons of usable pockets, but to me, this is all about movement. And again, I just threw it on with a pair of the blue linen pants also by NPL. I like the fact that you could probably put together a Globetrotter piece of luggage, fill it up with three to four items and mix and match. I could have worn this with the white, the beige and the blue. There's my three pairs of pants. And then a few of these jackets and suddenly I have eight to nine different outfits. That's a very usable moment. But folks, there's more things in the dressing room. This is so comfortable. So we've got a, a mixture of the silk and the linen. Now we know how soft the silk is with the blend of the cashmere and sometimes with other aspects. Now you've got the linen. This is a shacket shirt jacket. See the conjugate? Uh, so it should be a little bit looser. I love that this is going to be a breezy kind of feel to it. And it pairs really well again with the linen pants. So high marks. Yeah. All right, look who's, look who's like uh, showing me up here. Dude, the vest looks amazing. I know. Go on, what's what's the uh, the top underneath it? So this is uh, the similar herringbone. Uh, yeah, it's lovely. Beautiful. So soft, comfortable. And what are the pants? Uh, these these aren't his. MPL. These aren't MPL. That's your first problem. <laughs> yeah, because they fit like crap. No. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? This this makes everybody's body look great. Yeah. This specific, it's very complimentary. This uh, but that that um, vest, the gillet, the looks amazing. Okay, a moment for a second of confession. I like to wear things that complement my body type. I got this weird barrel chest going on. I'm not incredibly tall. This is it. I mean, this is just like the, imagine the Spectre Fumo Gray turtleneck, but done in an open neck polo. Incredibly flattering, I think, for all polo types. The hand is everything. And I hate to say it like this, but there are certain things that NPL that are kind of touch me pieces. Like this is the one that I'm just sitting in the boardroom, you know, I'm kind of like thinking about other things other than, you know, the, the finances of the company. And I'm suddenly stroking this NPL sweater. I love this open neck. This is going to be a favorite. And we all have go-tos. We all have ones that we tend to pull, whether it's watches or boots. This is going to be my go-to. I predict it, I forecast it. So this one is coming home. Okay, so now we're entering into the world of cotton. It's gonna come in very handy. As we move into spring and the summer transition, you're gonna need a basic cardigan. Now, there's nothing basic about this, so this is the wrong place to find it. This is a Prussian blue. I said that right, Prussian blue. You have your navies, you have your multiple blues, but this is a Prussian blue. And in real life, beyond YouTube, because it's only 4K, it is striking. It's something very different that I don't typically have in my closet. It's the cotton hand though that's doing everything. It's flattering, it gives you kind of a V shape, kind of no matter what your body type. So you see how it cinches in. This is a size small. The open hand pockets are very simple to use, kind of if you don't know what to do with your hands. But look what I've done underneath. By the way, the buttons are beautiful. I've actually paired it with a polo that I saw that I quite fell in love with because it's got this wonderful tipping here. It's kind of a, it's blue, right? Thank goodness, I'm getting the colors right. So this is more of a navy blue over here, and this is a size small, so zip. This is what I like about it. Very Bond, very cosmopolitan, but pairing these together is also very simple. Can go with jeans, can go with trousers. Yeah, this is going to see some action. I have left an absolute chaos and mess in here, but what a wonderful time trying these on. Okay, I wanna, I wanna thank my family members. Yes, they're, they're, they're family members at this point. Alexa and Sway for an amazing experience here. And go visit them right here in the Madison Avenue store and other places, your other places as well, right? No, Anything? I'm worldly. You are worldly. <laughs> Alexa's like, please stop filming. I beg of you. Hi, and soon in Munich. Coming what? soon. Yeah. When? In like a month or two. Is there a grand opening? There will be. Those, uh, those in Munich. Got Three-story flagship. What? I'll see you there. All right, see you there. <laughs> Amazing, right? I told you. So we're heading to a store right now that, think 2006, think Casino Royale, 
think a polo that maybe most, if not all of you watching right now have purchased, yeah, it's Sunspell. Look at this, you have other content creators here. That's how crowded and popular Sunspell is. You've got people even from the British Islands. Are there, is it one island or two islands in Britain? Um, you, can, you could say two, we, we kind of count Northern Ireland, but also you've got the Channel Islands, David, Jersey, Guernsey. You've gone too far. Okay. It's amazing how much this brand has transformed over time. I mean, take a look at this store right here on Madison Avenue. It's a cornucopia of different things. We've got different transitional pieces. We've got staples of the brand and we're gonna show them to you because this is a brand that I tend to gravitate to. I think it's got some very traditional things. Look at Mark checking things out back there. All subtle like. Uh, but it's got some really avant-garde things as well. Depending on where you're going with your likes and dislikes, this is the place to be. All right, I had to go with something navy. I mean, but I didn't go for the Riviera. I went for something a little bit different. Check this out. This is cashmere silk. It's a new soft version. Hits with the biceps perfectly. I'm trying to pull out as much as I can. This one from Sunspell, she's a going home with me. So the products here at Sunspell are amazing, but what's even better are the people. This is Jaden, the store manager. Jaden, thank you so much for yeah, everything today. Yeah, uh, you guys are always welcome and Welcome to the store and the experience. <laughs> Incredibly welcoming. Yes, we walked away with pieces because that's Sunspell. So let me ask you a question. For you, what does the brand Sunspell mean to you personally? Uh, Sunspell is, to me, it's very modern, very chic. And at the same time, we're trying to be more contemporary with like the needs in the market. But it's always changing and we're always open to new opportunities to meet clients from all over the world. And we provide one of the best kinds in our t-shirts, our polos, and even some of the jackets. And you can experience that yourself. So, Jane, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Appreciate it. We're going to go to other means, but Sunspell, it's right here in Madison. You have no excuse. Come visit. So, you got to understand something about New York City. You, Yes, you've got Bond brands, but you also have Bond locations. This is one of my favorite ones. Live and let die. You've got the alleyway here where Mr. Big comes out with his car. But this is the one that everybody tends to visit. In fact, look at this. We just met these Bond fans. We don't even know who they are, but they were here for this, which of course is the Voodoo Occult Shop. It is now a salon, but probably more known around the world from the movie than a salon. Do they know when they're getting their hair cut, they're getting their hair cut? Maybe when they ask their hair to be wrapped lengthwise, that could give them a clue, but take it all in. And it's just a little stop. But you want to do this. You don't want it to just be about the Bond brands. You want it to be about the locations as well. Have fun. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, David, you know, cars are more my style, but I'm here in New York City where public transportation is all the rage. But guess what? Yeah, this is one of the most exciting cities in the world. They've got cars. 
and they've got James Bond brands. Now you have to understand something. I've been coming to New York and the Bond brands for the better part of 14 or 15 years. And I've got my usual haunts, some of which you've seen. This one is a relatively new one from last year. It's Q, Aston Martin, like I said. And this is the place where you can customize, but it's also a place where you can engage with wonderful people that understand the brand, its connection to Bond. But then you've got some incredible new things. Look at this behind me. This is the DB12. It's the advancement of the DB11. I mean, this, you got to see some of these things. For example, the mirrors right here, these are all aerodynamic. They don't just go in and out like most mirrors. They rotate and swivel spherically. I always like to look at the buttocks of these. You've got ambient light coming in. You've got these amazing lights. I mean, this was so well designed. In fact, even this box like Ken Adams area closes off for private meetings. I mean, yeah, you got all that. But then you walk in here and every time I'm here, they have curated different cars and vehicles. For example, oh, I don't know, something from F1. Is it Stroll? Is it, uh, who is this? Alonzo? It's actually an amalgamation of both. No guts in there, but you get to see the, the beauty of these things. And when you look at the lines, when you look at how these come together, where art form meets vehicles, that's what's so exciting about Q because you could take the art form of these cars and then personalize it to your life. There are individuals that come in here and they are, well, let me show you. Talk about a Q moment. Look at this wall here. Color, leather, all the different trappings, all the different aspects that you can change in a car but then you've got big advancements. Like I own a 2006 Vantage, a V8 Vantage. I love my Vantage. And look at this. You can come in here and for example, see the kickoff of the brand new Vantage from this year. It isn't in a lot of places, but it's here at Q Aston Martin right here in New York City. By the way, the lines on this thing, mwah, the advancements, simplicity meets elegance. It's all here. Oh, and did I mention the people? The people are just generous with their time. They bleed the brand Aston Martin. They love talking about Aston Martin. So when you walk in here, you're not just looking at cars. You're <laughs> soaking in a brand moment that has been curated through people, products, and heritage. So I'd like to think that there are some places in New York when it comes to Bond brands that are my comfort places. These are places I go to because I've got friends there, but you've got these amazing lounges where you can come, enjoy the brand, enjoy the products, but also enjoy the hospitality. We're here at Omega and take a look at this place. I mean, it is incredibly spacious, but this is the type of place where you can really go and experience the world. And I do mean world. The world of not just time, but of the brand itself. And whether you come for a little bit of tipple, or you come to actually see a watch that's just been released, you're going to encounter so many different aspects of the brand, of the heritage, of the journey, and suddenly you become part of the journey. And you can see 
that the flagship store has a lot to talk about and a lot to discuss. But my favorite part of this in stopping at Omega is one of the most amazing groups of individuals that you can imagine. They not only represent the brand, they relish it, they live it. I love even asking them, what is the watch that they're wearing today? And I dare say that our guest from London, Mark, is experiencing a level of hospitality to which he's never experienced before. It's pretty epic. Our right, little sustenance with good friends and fun is all part of the Bond brand. Oh, we got Joe Darlington. Who knew? Oh, we've got Kyle. Easy smile and beautiful watches. Some, what is it? Easy smile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else do we have here? Oh, well, of course, we've got Mark with a, a, a bottle of champagne again. Who knew? We've got Alex Lamas, always say yes to adventure. And special guest star, it's like uh, Charo from The Love Boat. <laughs> We've got Mike Popowski. Who knows what kind of mayhem we're going to be getting into tonight. Stay tuned. Okay, we've had some vittles, and now we are heading off to Dear Irving. We'll describe what it is once we get there. Look at this motley crew. Yikes! So this has really bothered Kyle. Kyle, what are you doing right now? I am putting the movies into their appropriate order. <laughs> because they're in the wrong order and it's bothering you, right? Yeah. Very much so. I wouldn't want to have two gold figures next to each other. So might as well just... You don't want to. No, no. It'll look better if you don't have two figures next to each other. You know, I still have these. These, these, these they're at my I think they're at my parents. Point. Ouch. Is that the one that yeah, that's the edge that I was telling you about. That's the Michelin star restaurant up there. I thought it was That's Tony the Tony Stark's building. Well, it is. But it's, um, well, the gang's all here. We are here back in Dear Irving, the James Bond, Ken Adams inspired bar. And of course, I'm here with Kyle. How are we doing? Barbo, Kyle of e Easy Smiles and Expensive Watches. I say it right, right? Close enough. You got it. By the way, somebody else took a view to a Kyle. Someone else did take a view to a Kyle. There's another Kyle out there in the barn community. Not happy with it. Who knew? Yeah, he was very disappointed. Kyle, one of the last videos you did with me was why it's so special when Bond friends from the Bond community get together. And here we are tonight. Are. I'm looking at Alex Lamas, Joe Darlington, Mark Wilson, all the way from London. I'm talking to Mike Poplowski, who's already embarrassed us 16 times in 16 minutes. It's a new record. I have goals. I have goals. He's got goals. He's got goals. And of course, the affable and unaffable Matt Spacer. Effervescent, I like to call him. We'll hear from him in a second. But what does this mean to you when we get to go out in kind of a more small, intimate type of scenario? This is what it's all about. This is when we can actually let down our hair, talk to each other a little bit, get to know one another beyond the James Bond uh, social media, beyond that whole, you know, screen barrier. Yeah. We can actually talk to each other like people. I'm, I'm laughing because I looked at Joe Darlington. He's got that look on that says, I don't buy it. <laughs> well, we'll let him rebut. We're, we're here for the cocktails, damn it. Yeah, where are they? Uh, they're, I'm well, drinking water. By the way, we haven't even ordered. Um, but we'll get to it's that. A, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So when you come to when you come to an evening like this, what do you hope to get out of it? A hangover. So it's <laughs> no, it's, it's no a hangover. minimum at no a minimum. <laughs> uh, what do I hope to get out of it? Um, Reestablish old friendships, maybe make a, a couple of new ones. Oh, that's what it's all about. This is your first time meeting uh, Views from Mark? First time meeting Views from Mark. First impressions? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. we, we cannot show you the hand right. gestures. We that just had just dinner, uh, sitting across from each other, and we were able to talk to each other like old friends. But that's, that's what happens, what right? Yeah. Exactly. That's what I love about Bond. Yeah. We don't start at zero. When you go out and meet up with Bond friends, yeah. you're already at stage three or four. You have that a common bond, no pun intended. Oh. Uh, and a, a jumping off point. All right, real quick, before I leave you, Aaron Taylor Johnson, rumor, fact, and what do you think about the possibility? Well, I would like him to play James Bond, oh. but this whole kerfuffle last week was a rumor. Yeah, I want to vote that for Yeah, him. I like it. Um, he's got a new movie to promote. It's called The Fall Guy, I think. Yes. He's on the cover of Rolling Stone this Good week, Good timing. This month, whatever. So it was. it's a marketing ploy oh, just to get people to come I out. I think we're going to order. And see uh, The Fall Guy. I'm going to have a Deer G&T. Yeah. I'd like a Vespa. Thank you. Sorry, that was important. This is important. Well, I mean, this drinks. Is we're not we're gonna gonna you're not going to cut. Oh, we're not cutting at all. Good. This is like, you just saw us. Look at this. We're all like just ordering drinks here. Yeah. All right, Kyle, one last question. It's very sure. personal. Of course. What is the possibility of finding Mrs. Barbeau tonight? The possibilities are endless. <laughs> they are endless. It's a good group. It's true. Welcome to New York. Off to somebody else. I am here with Alex Lamas, who came confused but now realizes where he is. It's okay. Alex, you are the always say yes to adventure. You're you're a hot dogger. You're like the the um, who's the redheaded guy that is the uh, extreme sports guy? Sean. Ron Reedley. Sean what? <laughs> Sean White. Sean White. How do you know this guy? <laughs> Again, they can't hear him. I have no idea. So you're the you're like the Sean White of the Bond community because you do no have no idea who that is. That's okay. This is going to be edited and probably won't show up anyway. Okay, good. So <laughs> let me ask you a question. You are a martial artist. So when yes. you walk into a bar like this with a lot of nefarious characters, yes. do you sort of like look around the room to go, who can I take? Who can I take? But also, like, what can I use as a weapon? Can I use that rake? You know, as if you saw a rake? No, it's just who can I take? <laughs> so what goes through your mind? I don't look at any of that stuff. <laughs> I don't know what goes through my mind. I like how you. Um, I, I like how you understand what a good video is unscathed. made out. <laughs> unscathed. That's a good thing. So yeah. it's really about your own survival versus yeah, your friends. Yeah, it's always about my own survival. I like that. Who could I throw under the bus? <laughs> and, and what you know, sort of a similar question I asked Kyle. What is it? What is it you like about kind of the get-togethers that we do? This, just fun. You guys are fun. Right. Mark, what yes. do you think? Amazing, amazing space. Like in the place? I'm loving this. I'm loving the place, but I'm loving the company. Oh, know. that's the right answer. Sweet. Stage what the? six. Stage six. Bartender, where's my pants? I uh, want my pants. Poor Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not seeing things. I am here with the OG himself. I'm talking before there ever was. A Bond experience. There was a being James Bond, Joe Darlington. Hello, How you doing, buddy? How's Good. it going? How are you? How are you? Always great. Always great. My probably my, and again, not to upset anybody, probably my closest friend, not just in the Bond community, but in the world. But it's only because he took a bullet for me twice. We were in Trenton, New Jersey. It's a whole story. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. It's a whole other video. <laughs> Joey, I have a couple questions for you. We're out in the town with good friends. Um, talk to us a little bit about, even when you go, I won't say dark, but you know, your, your Bond podcast, you'll have a podcast every now and then. It goes a little bit darker. You've had volume one of Being James Bond with volume two, seven years in the making. Uh, it, maybe yeah. even more than that, believe it or not. Yeah. 20 years. Um, but, but yet, your Bond fandom doesn't get doused. Why is that? What keeps the flame lit? I, well, I think you said it. I think, I think being the OG at this point is, is a big part of it. 
Um, again, I got in the game early, so so it, it was it was very clever on my part. I don't take a lot of credit, but um, but yeah, I, you know, again, it, it's um, how do I say this? I, I've always said I you'll never hear me unless something happens. You'll probably never hear me declare retirement. Yeah. You know, no, you haven't. Never going to completely throw on the towel. Yeah. Um, I will admit. Sometimes you just you, you just sort of like tap out for a little while. Um, there's only so many clever pithy th- pithy things you can <laughs> offer, you know. Before sure. everyone, you know, I think I've heard enough out of this guy for a little while. Uh, but I do have some things in the in the barrel. The barrel is not empty, so you heard it here. Things are happening. How is it? That. How has it changed? I mean, you started your channel back in 1971. <laughs> Very young. So, but, but seriously, like when you started your channel many years ago, yeah. how has it changed from then to now? What's different? Um, it's wildly different because, you know, I, I literally started podcasting when it was kind of the, this really new idea. And I don't know if any, anybody really knew if it was going to take hold, become a thing, you know. Um, but, it, you know, and, and I kind of feel like even throughout the journey, you know, it was a thing for a while, and then maybe not so much, and now it's picked up again, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so it's definitely changed a lot, and and honestly, I, it's 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 been pretty exciting because you know, again, we started when uh, liter- literally before Casino Royale came out, just before Casino Royale yes, came out. That's right. So so we were sort of here for this whole Craig voyage, you know. So we were here for the ups and downs and the ups and downs. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, it has it, it's it's had its peaks and valleys and stuff. True. But thankfully, again, I it, I I, I, always, I still say that the smartest thing I ever did was to start a podcast, jump into the Bond community, and I you know just buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin. There you go. <laughs> to say there you go you know and now now I've just now I've got this circle of yes. very good friends that I can say that I've met through this wonderful thing and, and, and no, nobody can take that away well Mark it's been one hell of a day uh, what, what did you think about your excursion kind of the bond excursion through New York City today oh I mean I've said to you a couple of times throughout the day, I've been lost for words, and that's still the case. So, uh, no, it has been absolutely incredible, and it's just the the welcome and the hospitality and the lengths that the brands that we've had the opportunity to visit have gone to has just been second to none. I mean, we talked earlier over breakfast, um, about the differences between, you know, how things go where wherever you are in the world, and yeah. and and it's been yeah amazing to see the difference. And um, you know, wherever you go, whether it's in the UK, you go to an Imperial store, you get a fantastic welcome, and whether sure. you're in the US, you get a fantastic welcome. And there there are cultural differences. There are, yeah, no, of course there are, of course there are, which there yeah. should be. Yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. But you know doesn't matter where you go in the world you go to a brand like Empil, Sunspell right. you go to Amiga you go to Aston Martin and you get a continuity of service and customer service that you just don't get anywhere else and I think that's you know for me anyway as a customer of some of these brands not quite Aston Martin yet but as I think as after a, today after, though after today maybe yeah yeah I may you know Lisa at Aston Martin Q was phenomenal and the technology that they're incorporating so that they can give their clients the most immersive experience possible um, is a, is absolutely incredible. I, I did not have any idea that they were going to to those kind of lengths. So no, it was amazing, and I can't thank you enough. I mean, today you've 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 uh, you know I'm not blowing smoke. I'm not trying to kiss your backside or anything like that. You know, not yet. Anyway, I've not had enough martinis. It's early. It's early. As you can see, there's still daylight. Yeah. But no, I can't thank you enough. And uh, it has been. It's been amazing. It's been fantastic to spend the day with you, my brother, and um, to experience the brands and the the hospitality and the you know the warm welcome that they have all given as well as yourself has just been you know something that I will take away from this trip as well as other, as well as other things I'm doing on this trip. You know, it's it's you know it's it's the cherry on top. It really is. It, I, well, I, I couldn't agree with you more, and it's it's interesting too because. 
first of all, thank you for the thank you. I'm, I'm trying to get better about taking compliments. But take it. David. Take it. Take it. Stop being so British, David. Yeah. But, but more importantly, <laughs> one of the things that I love about even doing what we did today is that if I can share in the passion and the experience that helps us to escape, that helps us to really mm. love the Bond lifestyle and Bond in general, yeah. I love to share that with people. So to share that with a close friend who's visiting in practically my backyard was a very special moment for me. No, I mean, it's incredible. And you know, as you say, to, these moments are what we carry with us for yes. the rest of our lives. And we are in a drought of news, you know, rumors, yes. But drought of news and it's it's you know we make these moments for ourselves and that's true you've made these moments today that have been amazing and with all the people that are on the other side of this camera now as we are here in dear Irving um, another location that I've never been to before with a, the most amazing view um, there you go folks it's not an advert but it, and it's not sponsored but it is amazing um, yeah it's incredible oh good well enjoy I will I see many more Vespers in your future and we'll see how the evening goes. Well, okay, it's the morning after the New York City trip, and I'm no worse for wear. I think because I was smart enough to be the first person to leave, and I only had two, two drinks at Dear Irving, although I was drinking champagne and other assorted goodies throughout the day. So yeah, liver, you're gonna, we're going to be able to spread you like pate for a bit. But again, no worse for wear. I did want to just mention that these these days, although it's not this big public event like Gatherall or Operation, name it, they're still incredibly fun, mostly because I'm kicking back with my friends that I've had for ages. And it's just relaxing. It's a little bit of Bond moment, but you know that I love the brand's you know, I love the Bond lifestyle. This is just a wonderful way, but I hope you can see there is no magic in this. Like I told you, 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 you can arrange this. You can go to New York City. You can go to other brands that we didn't even go to. There's so many Crockett and Jones, Tom Ford. I mean, the list is endless. All of our brown, for example. Yes. You know, you can go there, but you can have a lot of fun pushing your way through all of these and experiencing it like we did. It's so much fun to connect live, to see the pieces, because I know so many of us, probably the majority of us, order these things online. It's not the same. So all that being said, I hope you enjoy this. 007 in New York, Bond brand style. We'll do this again. You know we will. And in the meantime, this has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.